first one you can reduce the volume of every video on your main timeline automatically to zero in other words you can mute every audio on your timeline to zero without having to go one by one and be reducing the music or the sound like this this is going to take you time you don't have to be doing this one by one okay you don't have to be doing this one by one like this right so what that all that you have to do right now is let me undo all this to add a sound back okay so now you can hear the sound on a video over 100 dollars on binance you see that all right so how you can do it is to simply tap on this right here thing let me show you all right this right here mute clip audio all right once you tap on that everything is going to go off like this so here we don't have any audio on the video again all right the second one now you can use a simple zoom in effect on your videos wherever and whenever you want and there are two ways that you can do this the first one is to come to video effects over here once you are here you can just go straight and search zoom type in and tap on a search bar wait for the result to load once the result load we have zoom lens over here a zoom lens i think let me just point it out for you all right over here we have these two zoom lenses over here but me i'm going to go with the first one over here you can equally use the same one right once you tap on it you will see that it has taken effect onto your video and the most interesting thing about this one is the fact that once you check it out like this it appears over here and whenever it ends that is where the zoom in effect to stop on your video so let's say i increase it up to this point meaning let's play it and see you will see what happened right now another thing that you can do is come to adjustment over here once the zoom once the zoom lens layer is selected come to adjust and deal with the speed how you want it to appear if you want it to appear slowly you do it like that if you want it to appear very fast you do it like that and the range you can increase it to wherever you want okay so whichever range that you use this is what you're gonna get right so this is one way you can use the zoom effect on your you know videos of course if you want to apply the zoom effect make sure you apply it and it should be more appealing to the eye it shouldn't be anything rough like this your face should be cut off no it should be something minimal right so that is one way that you can use the zoom in effect on your video the second way that i'm going to show you right now is to just select the video you tap on a keyframe the keyframe and that the animation keyframe is the one right here okay is this one right here so i've tapped on it and it's currently selected and that's how come you can see negative sign attached to it if it's not active or selected you'll see plus sign on it so let's cancel this and move on so that after we've put our animation keyframe animation over here the next thing that we have to do is to move to where we want the animation or the zoom in effect to take or to end then when we get here the next thing that we have to do is to use our two fingers zoom in onto our video right let's say this is what you want so look at this if you play this this is how it will appear all right so that is it i hope you've seen it now so those are two simple ways that you can add zoom in effect onto your video auto captions and trust me over the years auto caption has been something that we have badly badly wanted to add to our videos dynamic captions to make our videos more engaging and it got to a point after editing in CapCut, you have to use another application to make this dynamic caption very very attention grabbing very very appealing to the eye but right now those things are over because CapCut now has a feature that allows you to quickly add auto captions dynamic caption to your video with a simple tweak so let me show you how to do that quickly you come to test then you tap on auto captions and voila you'll see tons of templates over here that you can use of course we have the free ones and we have the pro 
versions right so over here i'm going to go scroll through this and select the one that i prefer or the one that i would like to use right so let's say i want to use this particular one over here this one i'll just select it once i select it i'll tap on generate so the captions will be automatically generated for me once it is that generated generating i can quickly go ahead and do the necessary editing if there are some editing i have to do right so let's play this and see to make over 100 dollars on binance you see that simple striking so let's play this into detail all right so that is it right if you want to do some editing to this all that you have to do is you can tap on edit captions right edit captions and you're going to see everything right here and edit all of them okay you're going to see everything right here now you can see i said i've been able to make over 100 dollars on binance but the mistake over here is capcut wrote finance instead of binance so i'm just going to write binance over here and that is it to make over 100 dollars on binance so you know you can see that the necessary adjustment has been made so there's one thing i want to show you right and that is how to cut or how to edit part of your videos using the caption tool now let me show you how to do it right so let's go to edit captions and over here let's say i want to delete the middle one so you can see what appeared over here delete both captions and corresponding clip meaning if i select yes delete both it means the caption will be deleted and the video will also be deleted so let's look at that quickly all right i'm saying this because in case you are editing your video and you identify some filler words in your video meaning that places where you are not saying anything you were just pausing saying um mm, you can easily cut out those parts using this particular uh, tool in a captions part so let's delete both so let's go back and see being able to make over 100 dollars on so you could so you could see that we've jumped over something right this part has been cut off so let's just undo that right so i believe you've been able to learn something from that aspect now the next thing that we're going to do is how to do a smooth slow motion effect in CapCut. right so let me just cut part of this let me split good then let's use this part only all right i'm going to delete the captions because i don't need them right now okay i don't want them to distract me so i'm going to delete them once i'm done deleting them i'll come here then i'll tap on speed from speed i'll use normal and i'll then reduce the duration to 0.3 so let's see how it's going to play out So as you can already tell this slow motion is not smooth so what can we do let's see what we can do all right go back to the normal over here then you tap on slow smooth slow motion at a down over here and i believe you all can see this right here let me push this up i believe you all can see this right here right that is a smooth slow motion we want to do all right so for the best results you have to choose better quality so let's select better quality and let's tap on a check mark over here so it is being processed currently right and the smooth slow motion effect is being applied all that we have to do is to wait for all this to finish loading then our video will be ready in a very smooth slow motion effect all right so once our smooth slow motion effect has been applied let's play it and see so as you can see this slow motion is way smoother than the first one you saw so that is one thing that you can also use in CapCut to up your games in video editing all right 
So the next thing that we are looking at is voice enhancement. Now voice enhancement has been recently introduced onto CapCut. What it does is that it enables you to break up the quality. I mean, it helps you to break out the quality of your audio in your video. So all that you have to do is to select the main video. Once you select it, move along the line. Then you're gonna say this item right here. You're gonna see this guy right here. This is enhanced voice, right? All that you have to do is to tap on it and turn this on like this. And your video will be cleaned up using the best technology available for cleaning audio, right? So you can push it all the way to 100 and see how it's going to affect your video. So at the end of the day, you are going to get a very good quality sound out of your trashy sound that you are having on your video so i believe these few tips and tricks in CapCut have been helpful to you and if it has please go ahead and hit that subscribe button on this video and also make sure you like this video share it with other other people right if there's any other thing leave a comment below and i'll gladly attend to you i'll see you in the next video